Your first game will not make any money, but that's not a problem. It is only a problem if you do this. So this is a rough chart that talks about how many games each studio makes. So a lot of studios make one game, then very few studios make their second game, even fewer make their third game, fourth game, fifth game, and so on. The reason why it's not a problem that your first game doesn't make any money is because you are going to gain knowledge, you are going to gain experience, which will then increase your odds of finding success when you make your second, third, fourth, fifth game. So the important thing is that you keep making games, because knowledge basically accumulates over time. So all the mistakes that you will make on game one, you will not make those same mistakes on game two. You will make different mistakes, but then you will correct those mistakes on game three and four, five, and so on. So my first game, I think, made about just two dollars. Then my game after that, I think, made about five dollars. Back then, I was making Flash games, and I just continued making tons of games. So back then, over the course of about five years, I made about 40 Flash games, so that's four zero. That's a lot of games, which gave me a lot of knowledge. So then when I moved on to Steam, over the next 10 years, over the course of eight games, I managed to make over a million dollars. So again, all of that started from making zero on the very first game. So as long as you don't do this, as long as you don't do that, as long as you keep on learning and you improve game by game, if you do that and if you focus on long term, your odds of finding success are much, much higher.